This graph shows the dramatic increase in the duration of unemployment during our current recession. The measure is the median weeks out of work, indicated in the scale on the left. The median is the midpoint. Taking all those unemployed in a given month, half of those have been unemployed for a shorter period of time than the median, and half have been unemployed for a longer period of time. The time span along the bottom axis runs from 1967 to the present. As we start the graph, we can see that the median duration of unemployment was about five weeks in the late 1960s. This rate climbed during periods of recession, indicated by the yellow bars, and it fell during periods of recovery. This pattern continued across the next few business cycles, with the median duration of unemployment usually peaking at around 10 weeks and recovering to about five weeks. But our latest recession marks a sharp departure. The median duration of unemployment was already at 10 weeks when the recession began. It climbed to over 25 weeks in the summer of 2010 and has settled in, now almost three years into the recovery, well above 20 weeks. This, of course, is no recovery at all. The unemployment rate has been above 8.5% for more than two and a half years. For more than two years, over 40% of the unemployed have been out of work for longer than six months. Indeed, the circumstances have changed so dramatically that, beginning in January 2011, the federal government adjusted the survey on which these numbers are based. The old survey used two years as the upper limit for a reported period of unemployment. The new survey allows respondents to report stretches of unemployment as long as five years. 